Hello, welcome. It is Wahura Kabutha and today I am going to be making carbonara. It is a pasta. It's very creamy and cheesy and oh, I love cheese and cream and all of that. Um, so right now we have our pasta that's boiling. I got this type of pasta. Can you? There we go. So I use this type of pasta took about 12 pieces that's boiling there as that's boiling let me show you what we're gonna put in the carbonara of course we have our cheddar cheese we have our bacon you can use the original ingredient actually for this is some um, Italian thing I don't even know it's called pancetta or something I don't know but bacon works just like it and we have some mushroom Ooh, diced sliced oh no there we go diced mushrooms and we have our ginger garlic sorry our garlic paste and some black pepper let's go right now I'm going to I'm going to strain this pasta and then I'll show you the main part of this this is like part one and then it's part two and part three we enjoy so let me strain this pasta right now I'm also going to be using some cream double cream or whatever preference that you prefer now we have our pan that's heating up have our oil there getting warm um, you can do this in whatever order you like me the way I cook is just you know kibiangu yeah? just just for me just for me uh, I'll start by adding can put you put the heat put medium low medium to low heat or low heat I just prefer medium to low heat oh it's ready okay So, put in our ginger paste. Throw in the bacon. You want the bacon to cook, but not too much. So, so ow! You don't want the bacon to cook too much because it's going to cook like later on we're adding some mushroom Let that cook for a little bit, just a little, just a little. I'm basically because I had diced the bacon into strips, I'm trying to separate them as they're cooking. Let that brown just a little bit, just a little bit. Can do a little dance as you're waiting. This is one of my favorite dishes to cook because, as I said, I just love cheese. I love everything to do with cream. It's just a combination of everything that I love, and you'll find that it's very filling. Like a small portion goes a very long way. So. This can last you a hot minute. If you're in uni or if you're working, you just need to put this in the freezer. You're good to go for the week. What are you saying? So now we're gonna add our strained, our strained pasta. Is that what they call it? Strained pasta? Like our pasta that cooked and now we remove the water. you have to taste mm. Mm -mm -mm. cream I use double cream because I love it extra extra 
extra creamy. I would suggest that you get a deep pan, a deep, a deep pan, because there's a time I cooked with a pan that was not too deep, and it was a disaster. It was a disaster. And now I'm going to add the cheese, the cheddar cheese. This is what we have right now. The cheese will help you to thicken, make it nice and creamy. I'm going to increase the heat a bit more just so that it melts. Mm. Cheese is light. Cheese is light. Giving that a few minutes to do its thing. Um, this is like a quick meal. This is like an easy, quick meal. A filling meal if you just want a quick snack. I don't have time to be spending too much time in the kitchen. I forgot onions. I forgot onions. And <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Okay. I think we can still salvage this. I'm gonna dice slice up some onions and fry it on a different pan and then add it to this pan because onions is key onions is not it's not those ingredients that you can skip over let me let's let's do that how about we do that let's do that now essentially we should have put the onions when we put the bacon and the mushroom and then we are letting that cook we just want to brown them just just a little bit just a little bit we're going to transfer the onions to the carbonara carbonara mix and then we're just gonna hope for the best. I think it's gonna be fine, it's on the It's not that deep, it happens, it happens, <laughs> it happens. We're gonna add the onions and then finish cooking it. Oh, love it, look at that. Throw in the onions, okay. We're just mixing it all together so that the bacon, the mushroom, the onions are well spread out. You don't want to put some for someone and then it will be pasta and might only be gone. You can see all the mushroom, all the bacon, the onions, oh the cheese is our best. All the cheese has melted, the onions are cooked, the mushrooms are cooked, the bacon is cooked, everything is cooked. So that's how you make carbonara. And don't forget the onions. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Make sure you dice the onions before. <laughs> Thank you so much. I am Wahura Kabuta. Have a lovely rest of the day.